Hi guys, this is Jason and I'm here with the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018. Yes, the first four camera phone. It's got four cameras at the back side. It's got a pretty generous selfie camera and we're here for an unboxing. First things first, the price tag is around $600 and we have uh, the version that they called Lemonade Blue. There's also Bubblegum Pink and Caviar Black. We already did the hands-on of the machine and now it's time to see the 120GB storage. 6 GB RAM version of the device. Now here we go. It's an unboxing, so we're going to focus on what's inside the box. This is it, the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018, which, uh, frankly speaking, unlike many other mid-rangers, is able to do something which I haven't seen uh, phones of this kind do, which is do super slow motion capture. That's what it says in the official specs. It can do super slow motion. And it looks pretty gorgeous, if you ask me, with this lemonade hue. It's basically somewhere between green and blue. Looks quite fancy. Of course, glass at the back side, glass at the front side, and a metal frame between fingerprint scanner at the back side. It's an unboxing, so let's see what's inside the box. Samsung Galaxy A9 2018. It's got a SIM key here, or as they call it, eject pin. And in this little envelope slash box, we have the manual. And the warranty and other useful stuff okay let's put this here for the sake of symmetry then we go to the uh, headphones which are pretty standard by mid-range samsung phone standards we have those um, rubbery tips which should fit comfortably in the ear we got a remote and then here comes the usb type c cable to full usb which will hook up to the charger the typical white generic Samsung charger with the promise of adaptive fast charging, which I don't doubt after having seen so many Samsung phones. Okay, that's everything available inside the box. I'm going to close it up because I actually, to be honest, love this A9 inscription uh, engraved here. And it's time to fire up the phone. As I said before, I won't insist too much on the specs. You heard them in the hands-on. Let me just say that the phone is quite massive and quite beefy. To be honest, 6.3 inches in diagonal. It weighs 183 grams and measures 7.8 millimeters in thickness. It's a long phone and also a wide phone. It has the vibes of a Galaxy Note uh, more than the vibes of a Galaxy S9. Okay, other than that, the 6.3 inch screen is a Super AMOLED with a resolution of 2220 pixels over 1080 pixels. And uh, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 CPU inside, 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabytes of storage, micro SD card slot, Dolby Atmos acoustics, and we're running on Android Audio. The battery is a 3800 mAh unit, and let's go to English this time around. Okay, start, the setup has started. I'm going to pick next. Let's agree to all of these, agree. So once we finish the setup, I'm going to list you the cameras because uh, we actually have to show them to you. I usually name them in, more, in a more generic fashion. I don't exactly pinpoint them, but this time I'm actually going to. By the way, we also have Bixby, as you can see here, and it has its own button here on this side. So uh, power button, volume buttons, and this button has to be for Bixby, I guess. Skip, finish. And I would say we are done. The phone is ready to use. Okay, so I'm going to start with the cameras. Up front we have a 24 megapixel shooter that can take wide selfies. And let's just tweak the screen a bit, make it brighter, maybe get rid of that flicker of the whole filming, the interlace, the interlace thing, you know it. You've seen it before on Super AMOLEDs, particularly our review of the Nokia 8 Sirocco. Anyways, back to the phone. So 24 megapixel camera at the front for selfies. And at the back side, let me just make a list for you. So we start from the top. The top camera is an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle one with 120 degree shots. The second camera, the back side, the telephoto one, 10 megapixels to X optical zoom for that paparazzi in you. The third one is actually the main camera. This one is a 24 megapixel shooter with the f1.7 aperture. And the last one is the depth camera, only 5 megapixels, but crucial for bokeh and depth stuff. And of course, LED flash singular like Samsung usually does and this is the phone in a nutshell this is it 
this is the uh, package which is offered here there are five cameras in total and the main camera offers flow detection ar emoji it's got 4k capture super slow-mo hyperlapse and by the way we also have always on display lt category 9 miracast and as usual i'm going to have a glance at the camera interface now i can already see bixby vision reacting so you can actually swap between cameras this is clearly the ultra wide angle one this is probably the focus one i'm guessing or trying to learn how to properly use it okay we go to auto again and this is how you pick it uh, I think that this is actually the telephoto one because it's zoomed to X. This has got to be the normal one. And this is the wide angle one. Of course, there's live focus, which is basically bulky here. There are many options. That's the thing you should remember. Super slow-mo is part of the package. AR emoji is part of the package. Hyperlapse, slow motion. And they're shaped in a vertical manner like we've seen on the Galaxy S9 and Note 9 with the vertical scrolling thingy. Many options, many resolutions, HDR, watermark, timer, flow detection, video stabilization, and so forth. I'm going to look into them as the time for the review comes. So far, so good. I actually played with the camera a bit when the launch happened and found the portrait shots to be a bit soft and a bit grainy for my taste. I'll see if this is true. Once the review is done, we'll be back with a full review in a week or two. This is it from us, gsm.com. Bye-bye.